As important as 2008 was, 2010 was to be a more important election. 2010 is a census year, and we redistrict every state and congressional seat following the census. You win state legislation in 2010, you get to draw the new maps that control all the elections over the next decade. The winner is predecided just by the way that the districts are drawn. Even under the scenario of the Democrats winning the vote by the biggest margin they've ever won in modern Wisconsin history, the Republicans would still get 59 seats minimum. That's an astonishing manipulation of democracy. Congress would never fix this problem because they have one interest only, and this is to stay in power. It's the biggest heist in modern American political history. I'm Katie Fahey. I'm with an organization called Voters Not Politicians. We started from a Facebook post. I saw that there was a pent-up energy, so I just thought I'd, yeah, try. <laughs> First there was 10,000, then there was 20,000, and this thing just sparked. We're working with the anti-gerrymandering drive. They're absolutely worried about us. They know that once this gets on the ballot, it almost always passes. This is going to be the battlefield moving forward. If they lose, it's no holds barred. There will be a vicious fight by the people who are in power. We are seeing efforts to undermine the very core values of American democracy. This may be the last time we have an opportunity to do something about partisan gerrymandering. The people of our country are sick of this, and if we don't come and say that enough is enough, then nothing's gonna change.